Hi, I'm Keith with Lindsay Lawnscapes is the name of my company. I uh, did a video a couple weeks ago on my new enclosed trailer and how I had everything set up. And I had a request to do another video kind of specializing and focusing on this equipment defender rack, turning the trimmers vertically instead of horizontally, how it's probably designed to be installed horizontally but it takes up twice as much room on the wall if you hang them horizontally. This takes up just about three foot, and if you hang them horizontally, it takes up about six foot. And in this trailer, I have a special door installed, a five foot door, so that I could get a pallet of fertilizer, or grass seed, or in this case, lime, set in with a forklift, and I didn't have to handle those bags twice of loading them at the store and then loading them into the spreader. I'm just trying to reduce my amount of times I'm handling material. So this has worked out great, but one downfall of that is it reduced the amount of wall space I have. So I hung most of my bigger stuff on this side because I really only have one main wall to work with. And with it being a seven foot wide trailer, uh, I didn't want to have things sticking out far on both sides. So I put everything on this side that sticks out very far from the wall. And on this side, things that stay close to the wall um, just makes it a little more room in here to walk when I got the mowers in. But anyway, focusing on this equipment defender rack, um, the, same brackets, you use the same brackets. And what I did is got a stud coming right down through here, okay? And if you can come in and focus right here, I screwed this three by three quarter piece of plywood to the plywood on the walls and I caught the studs here, okay? And in the middle one here is also catching this bracket. <clears throat> and then in these holes, that's just going through the three quarter plywood and the three eighths plywood, these screws right here. Okay, did the same thing over here, except I couldn't catch a stud on this side. So one side of it is catching a stud and this side over here is not simply because of the distance most studs and trailers are 16 inches apart. So this, this rack is made to where from center to center here is like two foot apart. Now, if you have a trailer that has two foot spacing between the sidewall studs, it would actually be even stronger because you could mount both sides that way. But with, it, with the, the, the three quarter plywood screwed into the wall, it's very secure. It's not, it's not going anywhere. I mean, I shake the whole trailer when I try to move it. And then these little blocks that you attach to the trimmer that fits in the locking mechanism, you just have to decide how far apart you want to put them. And that determines your distance between the top and the bottom rack here. And in my instance, it's about 31 inches center to center. But you could change that if you wanted this block a little lower down. You could do that. And, you know, that's just kind of up to each individual person. But, and, and this block here, I've got on the top side of this little notch that it fits in because it would support some of the weight. If I put it on the bottom side, it would work well for theft deterrent but it's supporting none of the weight on this bottom um, support bracket. So that's why I did them that way. Um, the, the locking mechanism and everything works exactly the same, whether it's horizontal or vertical. Um, mine, I got with the combination lock. Um, I like that. I just don't have to cram my hand in my pocket and get out keys. I've got gloves on, take the gloves off. So I just like the combination lock better, but whichever, that's, that's uh, up to each, uh, each individual person. But anyway, I just wanted to, to do this other video. Um, like I say, it was requested that uh, 
somebody seen it and liked it, but wanted a little more information about how it's mounted to the walls. So uh, I think that that should uh, should should cover everything that that you need to know. Um, I mean, like I say, it's sturdy. It's 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 not going anywhere uh, that I can tell, and uh, the security of it is is still the same. Um, so I keep everything in here locked when I'm on a job site. A lot of people don't do that. Um, and you say, well, I got a lock in on the door, you know, but unless you close the door of your enclosed trailer, if you don't have your equipment locked up and you're in the backyard, somebody can just stop in and help themselves to your weed eaters and trimmers and uh, blowers, whatever. So I keep them all individually locked. Um, I got this idea of hanging them vertically. I used to have a box truck and I had all of my stick equipment hung on racks like this. Just a, it's like an eight or $10 rack that I got from Home Depot and then just welded a little chain here on each one. But I mean, with the bolt cutter, you know, somebody could cut that in just a second. So I decided to go with the equipment defender rack just for a little more security. Um, I just hate a thief. So I try to make it as hard on them as I can, I guess. Um, but you know, if someone truly wants something bad enough, I guess they could, you know, steal it if I'm in the backyard. But uh, I just try to make them have to work for it a little bit, I guess. But, but anyway, <clears throat> that's all for this video. And I'll be putting some more videos out soon. So uh, thanks for watching.